Hi children, how are you? Hope all are keeping fine. Stay home, stay safe. I miss you a lot children. Without you, the school seems to be very silent. You will be also missing us. Listen to children, your friends, your garden, your playground, etc. We are really going through a tough time. We will overcome it. So, I am going to sing a song. All of you join with me. Okay? Let us sing. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. Let us join together. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. Hope you have enjoyed the song. So, practice it at home. Okay, children? Yes. Now, I am going to show you a doll. All of you look at the doll. Do you like it? Okay. Look at the hair of the doll. What is it? It is curly. Oh, I forgot. We have to give a name for the doll. What did you say, Adil? Oh, Pinky. Oh, very good, very good. Pinky. Then, look at the cheeks of the doll. It is chubby. It is chubby. So, chubby cheeks. So many of you be having chubby cheeks. Isn't it? Yeah. Then what about the eyes? The eyes are blue. Eyes are blue and shining. Eyes are blue and shining. And what about the lips? It is rosy. It is rosy. Then rosy lips. Isn't it? Then what's the color of this uh, dress? Pink and blue. Isn't it? So, you like to play with the dolls, especially girls, isn't it? So, can you write some sentences about these doll children? Hmm? Okay? Children, now I am going to give you a task. So, we need an A4 sheet paper. So please go and take a four sheet paper, a pencil. Yes, I think all are ready. So please look here all of you. On the left side of the A4 sheet paper, we have to draw a tree. Mango tree or jackfruit tree, anything like that. Okay, children. Then, below the tree, you can draw two children. Maybe two boys or two girls or anything. Whatever you like. They are playing. So, you have to draw the children are playing. And on the tree, you can draw fruits. If mango tree, then you can draw mango. If it is a jackfruit, then you can draw jackfruit. Then on the tree, there may be birds also. And nest. So these things you can draw here. And below the tree, the ground, it is grassy. It is grassy. Or filled with grass. Grass, you know, green color. Then, on the right side, 
up you draw two or three small hills and from the hill there may be a waterfall the waterfall is coming down and it will end in a river you know that and what all things you can see in a river hmm? yes very good boat fishes sometimes a man will be sitting near the river and catching a fish isn't it children yeah then near the tree you can draw a small hut a small hut and in front of that there will be father mother and small children like that and in the courtyard courtyard you know in front of the house courtyard then some hen are eating grains eating grains and sun is above the hill sun can draw the sun the sky the beautiful sky you can give any color blue color whatever color you like about the sky and at the valley of the hill you can draw flowers different kinds of flowers you will be seeing isn't it children dahlia or like that and on the flowers who will come and sit butterfly isn't it you can draw butterfly okay children all of you understood what to draw so all of you draw okay children hi children hope you have drawn the picture okay so please look at the board very beautiful picture isn't it yes this was drawn by our old student pranav bk congrats to him so with the help of this picture you have to write a description about this scenery i will give you some hints that will help you to write the description otherwise we can say the describing words okay children i will give you one minute to watch this picture and after that you can write the description okay Okay children I will give you some hints that will help you to write the description Hill So what are the words that will describe about the hill Sometimes you can write stony small pyramid green and cultured flat top bushy like that next about the river the flowing of the river you can say it is flickering glitter blue stream curved gently then warm sparkles hopped happily over the rock like that the next 
about the sky sunny lovely windy cloudless blue laden misty pink and shy plain and bright like that the next about the tree you can say shady leafy flowery gorgeously abundant healthy okay then about butterflies flutter hither and thither wanted brightly colored like that okay children now you find somewhat easy to write the description okay then with the help of these hints with the pictures you write a description that is your assignment 6th and 7th standard students write the description of this scenery okay and send it to your english teacher for the 5th standard students i am giving you an assignment that is to write a description about an object that you like most i am giving you some hints for example pen what will you write it is black red fine point genial golden top disposable like that and if you are writing about a doll you can write innocent curly hair pretty fair beautiful pleasing chubby cheeks like that if you are writing about a flower you can write the smell the petals fragrance shape color bunches like that so the fifth standard students did you understand what i said you have to write a description about an object and send it to your english teacher okay children you got it now i am winding up see you in the next class okay bye take care